Hi, I wanted to uh, share with you how we cleaned out some dust bunnies on a Dell Inspirion desktop computer that apparently suffered a heat stroke uh, a day or so ago and decided we had to clean it out, so I took it apart and uh, cleaned it out with our special tools you just see in another part of this, this video. Uh, the still pictures, photos that you see are of the uh, primarily of the computer before the dust has been removed from it as best uh, we could do. At the time of the tools what we were using, two special tools you'll see uh, in a moment. Uh, not too dusty as considering it's a, almost a three-year-old computer. Uh, 2013 was uh, date of manufacture and it's uh, December, December 2015 uh, as of this video. So it's uh, it wasn't too bad. I've seen worse, uh, especially the laptops. Uh, I have a couple of uh, Dell laptops that I've had to replace the actual fan, cooling fan. Uh, they were so dirty that just burn out and then the bearings went on the fans. And so that's one thing that's pretty cheap, like $12 or less or $6 or less on uh, eBay for the fans. eBay or Amazon is where I got the fans for the Dell laptop computers. So, uh, we'll carry on and hope you enjoy it. Talk to you in a minute. This is an Inspiron desktop by Dell. It's model 660. I think we got this in 2013. It's now 2015 December. I just took it apart to clean it because I think it had a problem with heat and it wouldn't restart. But it's normally left on 24-7. And I'm beginning to think that's not a good idea with this one. Anyway, for home, it's just a hard drive right here. Four gigabyte memory, RAM. There's two four gigabyte cards right here. That's the biggest fan I've ever seen on a CPU for cooling. That's a big fan. And it has a battery in it. Let's see, what is that? CR. 2032 lithium battery. I don't think I've ever had to replace one. And there's another exhaust fan, primarily for the ambient area. Power supplies right here. There's the uh, built-in fan to the power supplies behind here. And there's all the put an input that look pretty good so we figured we'd give it a little cleaning and see if we can bring it back from its heat stroke that it had where it wouldn't it wouldn't start up lights would go on power would go on but it just wouldn't get to the post boot or bios and, let it cool down for a couple hours and came back to life. That's why I decided I was going to clean it. But it doesn't really look that dirty. So there may be another problem yet to be discovered on this thing. Looks relatively clean inside. I was expecting to see a whole lot of dust and dirt. And I checked the uh, 
clearance between the end of the tips of the blade and the housing. Make sure those things weren't being held or, or uh, slowed down or rubbing. And it doesn't seem to be rubbing. Got some spiders. This is the front of the access door for some more items. Two uh, USB, a microphone, earphone. This is a Logitech uh, mouse and keyboard. What I would call this a dongle. Let me stick in there. And it's running Windows 7. Each of these memory cards are four gigabytes. Let's see what else we got. I count one fan, two fans, and then the fan on this power supply. You take apart just two. Put this thing on its side. provides you some ideas if you have a trouble with computer won't start uh, and the power light the power light comes on like ours the power light comes on and it just does not go through the post and the bio startup it's probably time to you know let the computer turn the computer off let it cool down and try it in a couple hours and see if it'll come back to life if it comes back to life then you might want to look inside if you're Afraid to look inside, maybe time to get a friend who is computer literate. Never go to a repair shop if you can help it. And uh, just simple thing is blowing out the, the dust around the cooling fans that you can see inside. And make sure your computer is unplugged from the power. You want no power on it. And even when it's unplugged, there is a chance with some of the components that could still possibly short out at worst case. <laughs> Not uh, necessarily shock you, but can short out other parts within the computer, so be very careful. If you don't know, ask someone. Who knows? Hi, this is just a wrap up of what we covered with the dust bunnies and the dust in the computer desktop computer. I wanted to talk again once more about the two tools that, that were used. One was just an ordinary brush that you can get at any brush store, Walmart. And the other thing was the can of air. Ultra Duster. Ultra Duster is just a can of air. Got it at Wally Mart. Walmart. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot probably. Doesn't have to be this manufacturer, it could be any manufacturer. It just is, it sells the air. A little on the pricey side. Uh, I think it was over $8, might have been around $14, but. I think I got about three cans of that. Lasts a long time. You just want to use it once. Once a little squirt. If you hang on to it and squeeze it, it gets really chilly down here. And the propellant inside. Okay, so we covered the uh, dust and uh, heat stroke, and then we've decided again to turn off the computer at night 
and let it cool overnight before we start it up in the morning. So hopefully there was something in there that uh, will help you. If not, that's okay too. Okay, see ya.